Hello everyone, Curious Corduroy here, and our first story has actually received an update that was reported before I made this video. Sony requiring developers to create two hour trials for the PS Plus premium service. It was originally being reported by GameDeveloper.com that developers working on games that were above $34 in wholesale cost would be required to create these trials, leading many to worry about smaller developers with less resources potentially struggling to restructure their development cycles. However, Kotaku's Ethan Gotch has reported that a source has told him that Sony will actually be the ones creating these two-hour trials for the PlayStation Store, with the developers potentially not receiving any portion of the PS Plus premium subscription money earned. This is causing some concerns from a lot of people who feel that the devs should be compensated for the trials even if they themselves aren't putting them together, while others are saying they don't deserve any portion of the money made because they aren't the ones doing any extra work. I can see both sides here, but at the end of the day, you don't have a trial to put into the PlayStation Store without the developers to create something to begin with, so they should be compensated to a degree in my opinion. As for the trials themselves, the length appear to be two hours for each trial, which is similar to how Steam works. However, on Steam, a game needs to be purchased and returned in under two hours to get a refund, whereas the PlayStation Plus premium deal, purchase of the game won't be necessary. Also, these trials are only required to be around for 12 months. And in more Sony news, it looks like they've officially blocked users from being able to stack PlayStation Plus subscriptions using PS Now. RIP to the clever workarounds people discovered. So to briefly refresh everyone here on this whole ordeal, back when the relaunch of PlayStation Plus was announced, Sony had mentioned that current subscribers of PS Now would have their subscriptions migrated into the PS Plus premium tier at no extra cost. This news spread quickly and many users decided to take advantage of that option and began buying PS Now subscriptions through the online PlayStation Store, as well as from using physical PS Now cards found at retailers. Sony caught on quite fast and disabled buying a 12 and 3 month sub through the online store, however, many users were still able to find physical cards and redeem those, at least until now. This news comes to us from Video Games Chronicle. Many Twitter and Reset Era users are reporting that their physical PS Now cards are not redeeming through Sony services. One Reset Era user reported that they received a message from Sony's customer support saying, Due to the upcoming changes in the PS Plus subscription, currently the PS Plus stacking is not available as we have removed the ability to do that. It's really unfortunate that this has happened, especially since you can probably head to your local Walmart and still find some of the 3 and 12 month PS Now cards still for sale. Obviously Sony doesn't want people taking advantage of a major discount, but it still feels kind of shitty that they would do this. Thankfully, I was able to grab a 12 month subscription through the website before they cancel it. In fact, I got it the day before they took down the link to actually buy it online. So I guess I got lucky. And also I have found some PlayStation Now cards, 12 month and three month at my local Walmart. Up next, Microsoft has announced that they will be holding the Xbox and Bethesda game showcase of 2022 live on Sunday, June 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which lines up with their traditional E3 press conference time slot. I don't cover Xbox news all that often, because I don't always have an interest in what they're doing and because, well, <laughs> Xbox stuff doesn't get viewed as much on my channel. But I'll be checking out the showcase to see if anything drops that piques my interest. And for our last story, new hands-on previews for TMNT Shredder's Revenge have landed on a multitude of different gaming outlets YouTube channels. However, I will link you guys to the official gameplay and behind the scenes video from .emu's YouTube channel. I'm pretty excited for this game. I grew up a huge Ninja Turtles fan and spent countless hours playing games like Turtles in Time and TMNT the arcade game, as well as whatever Turtles game I could get my hands on, including the Genesis version of Tournament Fighters. The game is being developed by Tribute Games and published by .emu and has a quarter three release set. I've purposely not read up too much on Shredder's Revenge because I do want to just dive in head first, not knowing too much, but from what I do know, the game will be based on the 1987 cartoon and will even feature the return of all four voice actors who voiced the turtles in the cartoon, which is phenomenal. So that's the video, guys. I am Curious Corduroy. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below on how you feel about not only TMNT Shredder's Revenge, but what's going on with all this Sony news? How do you feel about PS Now and PS Plus stacking being disabled? How do you feel about these new time trials that are going to be available with the PS Plus premium service? Uh, were you someone who was lucky enough to actually stack 
your PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus, so that way you will have access to premium for a very long time for half off the price. I do know that Sony has come out and said that they will honor whatever subscription you have that is longest. So if you have a PS Now subscription that expires, let's say August of 2022, but your PlayStation Plus is good until August of 2024, then you'll be have access to PlayStation Plus Premium until August of 2024 because that's the longer subscription. So I would love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember to be excellent to one another.